What's up everyone? Welcome back to Alexander Games. I know I haven't posted a video in a while and I apologize for that, um, but I do have some good news. I'm starting a new series and I'm super excited about it. I can't wait to share it with you. Um, as you can see, I am in a Minecraft world right now. That is right, I'm starting a Minecraft series. Um, you know, I've played Minecraft for a long time, but never like got super into it. Um, but the past couple weeks, man, I've been playing, I've been playing Minecraft a lot and so, you know, I've just I've decided to make a series on it, and I can't wait to show it to you. Um, I as you, as you can see right there, I am on a server. Um, that is actually my brother. I've been playing it on a server with him uh, and a few people from uh, my current job. Uh, but yeah, I've uh, I've been having a lot of fun. Um, you know, I never really messed with redstone in the past, but I've been doing a lot of redstone projects, and I cannot wait to show those with to you. And you know, experiment with things with you, and kind of show you how that I I go about it. Um, as you can see, it's getting dark, so I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until it gets daylight, and then I'm gonna show you what's behind that big wall because it is really cool. All right, so as you can see, it's now daylight. I was able to sleep, and so I want to show you what's behind this wall because it took me a while to build, and I'm super excited to show it to you. So we've got a lever right here, and if I did everything correctly, it should make this wall disappear, or it's a terrible fail and. That really sucks. Oh my gosh, it worked. Look at that. Alexander plays Minecraft. I'm so excited to share this series with you. I'm so excited to start recording more videos. I've already got some that I've started recording. I can't wait to get those finished up and share them with you. Um, but yeah, I figured that for the first episode, we could do a world tour and kind of show you what's up with that. Um, so here, uh, obviously there's a village right there. Um, so I... I was at a, like this village is kind of far away from spawn, um, but the original village, I had basically killed all of the villagers on accident, trying to set up an iron farm, which is what I have over here, um, which as you can see, the iron farm is currently active. It's doing very well. I have a lot of iron, um, and this is actually the second um, iron farm. I have another one that I'll show you in a little bit, but this is the biggest one. It produces the most. Um, and I can, there's some better videos on how these work, uh, and I can, I'll probably put the, his name up on the screen, I can't remember it right now, but I actually got this design, this exact design from somebody else. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll link that, and then over here I have a village breeder, which again, I can't remember where I got this idea from, but, um, I'll, I'll put his link in the description as well, and, uh, maybe flash his name on the screen. But as you can see, it uh, it kind of has two different functions. It's a it's a carrot farm, and it's a village breeder. And then what I can do is I can I can get carrots, and then I can trade them to this guy and get emeralds. So that's really awesome. Um, and then here are the villagers, which it looks like there's three in there, uh, which is not great. I need to get rid of one of those, but I'll figure that out later. Uh, but if we go out here, I'm sure. <laughs> I've been out here doing some work, so I'm sure that this village breeder is way out of control right now. Uh, yeah, so if you look, there's a lot of villagers. Um, I need to kill them off as well. And then down here, uh, this is the room in which I take them in. Um, and then, and then yeah, I, I, can, I can close it off. And then I can choose their job. And so basically, I'll kind of show you guys how that works, but I can choose what their job is and what they sell uh, starting out. And that just really helps get a jump start on uh, being able to buy certain things. Uh, so let's go back up here and I'll kind of show you what else I have going on. Um, obviously, I have that that big sign that I built, which I'm so happy that worked first try because <laughs> I did not test it or anything. There was way too much gravel. I was just like, eh, I'm not going to mess with it. I've got some cows over here. They don't really do much. They just kind of chill out. Um, I had this sheep farm because I needed a lot of wool to do that those beds for the iron farm however anymore I don't really use the sheep for wool because uh, I'll show you later I have a mob farm and I get a lot of string from that so I can just make wool from the string um, be able to come over here and make sure that my hopper system worked because yeah, I had oh, it looks like we dropped some but look at that it actually worked that is awesome. I'm so glad that that worked. I had no idea if it would or not. Oh, that is brilliant. 
Absolutely brilliant. That is so cool. But yeah, it, it worked. That's awesome. And now I have like a lot of leftover components that we can build more redstone projects with. So that is very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, but yeah, so that's basically all I have over here in the um, village area for now. Just that village breeder and the iron farm. Um, and then a little base just to kind of, you know, have somewhere to put my stuff while I'm over here working. But this is basically the only function of this place is just for getting, you know, for villagers. Anytime I need villagers. And then there's like an underground railway that goes to the ocean and then I can put them in a boat and kind of mess around. Oh, I forgot to show you guys what's in this room. So in here, I actually have a bunch of villagers and they are set up for trading books. So as you can see, I have a... Uh, aqua affinity and feather falling on this one and then also i can sell paper and then some of the important ones i have fortune three silk touch mending and efficiency five um and so yeah all their trades are locked in they'll keep them i also have sharpness three and looting two which is awesome and i can sell uh, paper to them as well uh, i want to build a bigger i have a sugar cane farm but i want to build a bigger one that way we can sell more paper uh, but that that has been very profitable um i'll actually show you my emeralds here in a minute it has been brilliant so yeah we'll head over uh we'll go through the nether to get to the uh essentially what we call afk island and that's where a lot of our afk machines are and um uh well you just you'll have to see it okay so we made it back over to afk island uh, as you can see there's quite a bit going on here we have another iron farm over there it's a much smaller one um over here is my brother's base um uh, i wouldn't even really call it a base he just it's kind of where he's at right now he hasn't really built his base this is just kind of where he keeps everything um he's got an afk fish farm and i think he's got a yeah another war farm down here so that's pretty cool and then if we go up here you'll see we have a chicken farm which produces entirely way too much chicken it's way out of hand i'm not even sure what we're gonna do with all of it um but yeah kind of all automatic it collects all of their eggs takes them up there and then there's also chickens up there um yeah it just keeps producing so if we go over here i'll show you what i mean about entirely too much chicken this is all full of chicken this is full of chicken this is full of chicken this is full of chicken and if we go over into my warehouse, where I have all my storage at, um, I have an entire double chest full of chicken. There's just so much. I, I We've only had this, um, this farm set up for a few days, and it's just producing a massive amount. So there, there you go. There's the, there's the double chest full of chicken. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, but yeah, welcome to my warehouse. This is where I pretty much store everything and work on a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, like that, like I was saying about those emeralds, I produce a lot of emeralds having all those villagers set up to sell paper. Um, I don't think I actually have any paper right now. I got a little bit. Uh, but then, yeah, basically I've got all these storage chests with all my stuff. You can see I have a lot of iron from the iron farm, which is awesome. Got my tool area, my wood area. Uh, one thing I want to build uh, soon, actually, is a tree farm because I haven't had a tree farm um, I do kind of, what I do is I get like a sapling and then I come over here and get like a bunch of bone meal and then I'll, I'll just like come right out here and grow trees and cut them down and just like do it really fast. Uh, but I want to have like a proper, uh, tree farm, which we'll get into hopefully soon in a, in a soon episode. And then down here, um, this used to be like a sorting system, uh, for an AFK fish farm because, um basically our last world had got corrupted and so we had to start fresh and so we wanted to jump start it since we were already so far ahead before so we were afk fishing for that um, but i've recently torn mine down because clearly i don't need it um, but yeah this is for my this is for my um sugar cane right here um, i tried it with bamboo but i couldn't get it to work with bamboo for some reason i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure on that and then I've got more storage. Um, you know, like I told you, I got a bunch of string. Um, I got a lot of gunpowder and things from the uh, mob farm. Uh, I usually just burn the the rotten flesh. However, 
Um, I can't remember which trader it is, but one of the traders buys Rotten Flesh, so I'm definitely going to set that up so that I can I can sell Rotten Flesh. Um, but yeah, I've got I'm just tons of chests full of stuff, which is awesome. I've got a lot of arrows. I don't think I'll ever need arrows, especially because I have Infinity on my bow. So, I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, Eyes of it, or Ender Pearls, I have a lot. I need to actually make Eyes of Ender. Got my redstone. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool little area. Um, this down here isn't finished yet. I was going to make a furnace array, uh, which I mean, technically I have a furnace array because I have uh, three furnaces going, which is cool, but I need like a lot. I want to fill that whole thing up. And then if we go down here, I have, um, I have an abandoned village breeder down here. So like the same carrot design that I already showed you. I have another one down here, only it doesn't have any villagers in it and it doesn't do anything. Um, basically, it was when I was trying to fill this one, which actually we got to go somewhere else. I got lost here. If we go up here. Yeah. So yeah, I have this. And basically I had set this up and I was going to bring villagers down through this little system. Um, and it failed. I, I killed all the villagers in one way or another. Um, the entire village is a ghost town, which we'll go over there and check it out here soon. Um, so yeah, now, like, sometimes I come and get these carrots and I replant them and I go sell them. The, mostly that farm doesn't do anything. Um, and then I also have a slime farm over here. However, it's currently out of commission. I mean, I mean, it's still producing, but it's technically out of commission because I'm not sure what happened. But all of my, all of my uh, iron golems are gone. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know if I should have tagged them. If maybe they despawn if you don't tag them. Um, they were there for like a long time, so it doesn't quite make sense to me. But they're definitely gone. So, I mean, something happened. But yeah, it's uh, two, two layers, and I mean it produces enough. I should have showed you my chest of a slime, but I forgot. I'll show you in a little bit. Um, yeah, and then so there's also a project down here. Um, but technically I can't show you in this in this because I'm recording a video on it, so. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I can show you what's down here. Uh, I'll give you like a sneak, like you know, like a little peek, but I can't show you what's behind the wall. Yeah. So this is this is the area. This is like the the cautionary area, because uh, yeah. If you see, I've got a TNT duper up there, and it blows up right there. Um. And then this is my collection system, but I can't show you what's behind this massive, massive wall of obsidian, which I actually mined all of that obsidian, and it really wasn't that bad. If I have a system that works pretty well for mining obsidian, and then I can hear him, but I don't know where he's at. I have this massive tunnel that basically goes nowhere. Um, I just since I have that mob farm. I have been blowing a lot of things up with TNT for no reason. And so, yeah, I, I blew up this entire tunnel. And then, actually, I used a bunch of TNT to dig out this hole uh, down here where the... I, I used TNT for basically all of this. Um, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's head back upstairs and... I'll take you over to the mob farm and I'll show you the mob farm and then uh, then I'll take you over to spawn and show you spawn and maybe even that ghost village that I completely destroyed because I'm an idiot. Seriously though, I really am. But yeah, uh, yeah, I'll probably just fast forward through this part and I'll meet you upstairs. I guess I can also show you guys this spot up here. Uh, this is our friend Pat's area. Um, basically just this floating base that he made. Uh, he's got a, some pretty cool farms up here. He's got a kelp farm, um, a wheat farm, which is kind of automatic, kind of not, because wheat kind of sucks to farm. And he's also got a uh, bamboo farm up here, which is pretty cool. Um, which... Very interesting how he built that. But anyways, 
Um, yeah, he's got a whole collection system. He also has an AFK fish farm. And he's got an elevator, which looks like... Yeah. He's got a two-way elevator. It takes you up and down. And then up here, he's got a uh, sugar cane farm. Oh. Actually, we just missed it. Go, but cool. And he's got a little pool up here. I'm not really sure what for. And then... He's got floating water. Also not sure what that's about. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, his area is pretty cool. Like, it's like a little city up here, kind of. And that's pretty cool. And then, uh, yeah, you just press this button. And then it's a... Uh, goes down. So I really like that, that system. He doesn't have that for this, so... Oh. You basically just have to jump down. And then, yeah, I really don't want to travel over to the mob farm while it's dark because of drowns. Well, I guess I probably could. Let me get a boat. Oh, I have a boat. Okay, yeah, I'll just take you over there even though it's dark. Take you over to the mob farm. There's actually two because my brother built one over there, but outside of render distance. Um, and then there's this one over here that I'll take you to that I built. That's the original. So it's starting to come into render distance now, and as you can see, it is massive. Just a massive farm. I built it 128 blocks up. That way, uh, when I'm in that AFK area, nothing else spawns, and then I have a little collection system here. Which I'm actually not sure... I'm not sure if anything's in here or not. Ah, uh, there's a little bit, not much. Who knows why that's in there. Um, and then, yeah, I have... Got a little bit in it. I got this nice water elevator that takes forever to get up there, even with this quick elevator. It just takes forever to get up there. I need to put like a nether portal going up to the top. Uh, which you can hear there's already uh, already stuff going on here. And so yeah, I've got this switch right here to turn it on. And then I've also got a switch up here. That turns the second layer on. Um, which, I need to put them both together, but I just haven't yet. Um, but, yeah, and then this over here is a little AFK room. Uh, let me go ahead and actually just turn it on, and uh, you guys can see it work. It's pretty cool. It uses flying machines to, um, to knock them off of the platforms. I got that design idea from Mumbo Jumbo, actually, on his Permit Craft 6 video where he built... He built a mob farm, only mine looks way uglier because he's, you know, actually good at building things. But yeah, if we just come over here to the little AFK area, uh, you can see there's already some falling off, but now that we're over here, a lot more will fall off. We'll just give it a second to... Oh, actually, there it goes. You see, we just dropped a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of stuff. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll go over there and turn this off, and then we will actually I'll take you over to my brother's mom farm, which actually is also an XP farm. Uh, so I'll show you that. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's our area. I'm not used to it rendering all the way over there. That's so weird. Very cool though. That looks awesome. Yeah, I'm not used to that rendering that far. I about fell off the edge there. Uh, the only thing about this is you have to turn it off every time you leave. Because... I'm really losing my train of thought. You have to turn it off every time that you leave. Because it'll break the flying machines if you don't. Um, but there's two ways to get down. You can either jump off the edge... Or, over here at the water elevator, I have this ladder that also, the ladder is just so I can get up there and do maintenance, but then it just falls into water. Pretty quick way down. And then, I mean, we got a, we got a few things out of there. 
you know, not bad. There's already some stuff in there, but yeah, it works pretty quick. Got my water transportation system there. Uh, but yeah, let's head over to my brother's mob farm and I'll show you that. He doesn't have a water elevator, so it's quite a bit of a climb up there. Alright, so we're coming up on my brother's design now for a mob farm, which also is a uh, XP farm. See, it's also very high up there. He doesn't use a water elevator, though. He uses scaffolding, which I'm not a huge fan of, but he says he's going to put a water elevator. Or he might do, um, you know, one of those things that do this, does the things. So yeah, he might do the water elevator, or he might do a nether portal that just takes you all the way up there. Which actually, now that I've been over there, you can actually see my mob farm in our entire area. Our entire AFK platform. Which actually, I still have to take you guys over to spawn. I don't want to forget about that. And we also have that beautiful, beautiful coral, coral reef over there, which is absolutely amazing. I love the aquatic update. It's such a fantastic thing. I remember playing when there before there was even mobs. That was a long time ago. So to see how far it's come is just brilliant. So awesome. Uh, he doesn't have a stored. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> uh, that sucks. On my way up, up, at least we can admire how cool. Uh, AFK Island looks. I mean, it's just this tiny island. It actually used to be three separate islands. Um, and then we've kind of just built it all together. But yeah, that actually used to be three separate islands. Um, one of them was kind of tall and just had a lot of sand on it. And we just built it into what it is. Pretty cool, though. I love looking at stuff like that. I love looking at huge builds. Like, what is that? Up there. Oh, jeez. Wow. So yeah, we'll go up here. We'll take a look at what he's got going on. I think he's up here killing some the mobs. You can see his little conveyor system. It's actually pretty cool. I'll right, we'll go up here. Oh, good. It's raining. Yeah, if you come over here, you see they're just kind of going down this water line. And then they come over here to the killing area. Uh, which is pretty cool. But yeah, it just looks like a little mob conveyor belt. Bringing them all over. Dropping them down. Not exactly sure what he's doing right now. Seems to be AFK. Nope, he's here. Yeah, there it is. Absolute ridiculous amount of XP. Very cool. And then he's got a little hopper system. And yeah, I don't know. I'm excited to see. I think this is his little switch here. I have to turn it off. Yeah. I'm gonna let it fill up and then uh, I'm gonna take a swing and see how much XP I get. Should be quite a bit. Hmm. 
Oh, not bad. I got a whole level from that, but... I think it could be better. I don't know, but I'm going to take you guys over to Spawn Island and just show you that. It, uh, it used to be just... That is so weird. Seeing all that spawn up is just very strange. Uh, but yeah, Spawn Island was literally the worst spawn in the world. Spawn... I mean, I mean it, it looks cool now, but it used to just be sand. Like, just a tiny sand island. And when my brother decided, you know... When he got the server set up, he sent us a picture and he was like, Are you kidding? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I like to see. Alright, so we just came through this portal. We're on Spawn Island. We're obviously in a little bit of a bunker right here. Uh, we have my original bedroom here. This is where I started. Got some snow on the floor. Uh, which I'm actually surprised these torches aren't milk. Uh, got some, like, old stuff tucked away in some chests. Some random stuff. And, uh, we pretty much cleared it all out. I think my brother's room still has stuff in it. Because he kind of hides it over here. Yeah, he's hidden a little bit over here, but not much, actually. Then we have our enchanting room. Uh, which is obviously at max. Pretty cool. And then, uh... Yeah, we'll go up here and I'll kind of show you around. And here's the outside. So this used to all just be sand. Uh, there was no... There was turtles here, but there was no sheep, cows, chickens. This right here is the original egg farm. Um, our little wheat farm that we started out with. I don't... I think my brother might have built that. Uh, but I built this little area. It's just kind of like a little hangout. It's got a campfire. Got some trees that I put up. Uh, pretty cool. And over here is just some more trees and stuff that we put in here. Uh, some cows and stuff. The original plan was actually to build on this island. And then, for one reason or another, we just kind of switched over to AFK Island. And then, because of the villagers, I kind of set up that, uh... I set up that little villager area. So we've kind of just spread out. Uh, but we'll go down here. Then there's just one more area I can show you. Uh, well, actually, I guess I can show you this little spot. Uh, there's not much going on down here. I just got some mining shafts and stuff. And then I've got my uh, pumpkin farm. I don't really come down here that often, but... I mean, if I ever need pumpkins, I can. Uh, which... Yeah, there's nothing in there. We'll go back up using our water elevator. And, uh, yeah, I'll just take you over to... The ghost village, and uh, show you the giant hole in the ground that one of our friends made. So yeah, now we're over here in the large hole in the ground that our our friend Rollin has constructed. Uh, looks like he's got a cave system right here. I'm not really sure what he's got all that he's got going on here. Uh, but he's got a nice cave system, and then goes straight into this, uh... I don't know what it's called, but this big hole. Big hole in the ground. Look, there's a little fish! Look at that little fish! And a dolphin down here! That's so crazy! I've never seen that before. It's so interesting. Look at that. Little fish. Oh, we'll come back down here. Uh-oh. I don't know what just happened there. Anyways. Uh, yeah, looks like we've got some mob spawning. Got this giant tunnel, it looks like he's built here. Nice, I actually haven't seen this, this tunnel or anything. That's pretty cool. He's done a lot of work, that's for sure. A lot of work. Nice, very cool. I fell on that love, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm gonna take you guys over to that village real quick to show you what used to be a village and is now just 
nothing because I literally killed everybody in it. On accident. It was not on purpose. The complete accident it was outside of my control. I did not mean for those poor villagers to die, okay? Complete accident. Somebody else's fault. Go ahead and go on up here. I think it's this way. I don't know. It's been a while since I've been over here. Oh, boy. Yeah, it should be this way. A lot of disappointment and regrets are over here, okay? I haven't been over here in a while. Ah, uh, there we are. The ghost village. Just in case you thought guys thought I was lying about killing them all. This is my little transportation system trying to get them out of here. Which, I mean, I successfully got some of them out, but... The, the problem is... They died. <laughs> they just all died. There's not a single villager here. Wait. Wait, I've never been up to that. I've never seen that one up there. I've never been up there. There's a house up here. Maybe there's a villager left. Maybe there's one left. Wait, where did the... F where did the I had just seen it. Hold on. There was just a house up here. None... Oh, okay, I see. this oh yeah absolutely nothing in it that's perfect <laughs> and they have a little uh a little something up here i don't know let's go to the top of this mountain we're already up here might as well make it worth our time I said, hey, let's go up there. Let's go to the top of this mountain and see what's up here. And look what I find. See, I didn't even know this existed. And somehow I still managed to kill every single... I can't even pick any of that up. I'm way too full. I still managed to kill every single villager. And I didn't even know this was up here. Ow. Ow. How? How do you do that? I had no idea this place was up here. But wait, should we... Yeah, we just looked in that one. Should we, like, repopulate it? Can they even get up here? Look at that blue ice. Oh man, look at that. Look at that, some blue ice. Some nice slippery stuff. What you got in here for me? Some coal, some snowballs, nothing really useful, but hey, I have no idea this place existed. Wait, wait! You hear that? Villagers. We can repopulate this place. There's villagers. We can do this. We can repopulate the village. We can make it right. Goodness, look at that line, line, long line of tracks. Guys, we can, we can bring life back to the village. 